IO Conference is an important place for us to be represented. The largest biotechnology conference in the world. Uh, every single major pharmaceutical company and biotech and medtech company is here shopping their wares, talking about the next great things, and they want to hear about the future of health and wellness because that's going to drive their market. We're here at Bio to share with the world the Healthy Nevada project and how we're integrating genetic, clinical, social, and environmental data into a world-class database to make Nevadans healthier. People around the world are really interested in this and they want to learn what we're doing so they can do it where they live. It's an amazing experience for all of us. Lots of excitement. We launched the Healthy Nevada Project, uh, having enrolled 10,000 people uh, in record time, may have been a world's record. It, within uh, 48 hours we enrolled them and actually completed the study in 65 days. Uh, all the results were returned within the year, uh, a couple months later, and at this point we're building the database and starting to look at our outcomes data in, in combination with our electronic medical record. Somewhat of a mini celebrity here. We've met with the Gates Foundation, the Wellcome Trust from the UK, multiple pharmaceutical companies who are all interested in what we're doing. They're seeing how we actually successfully pulled it off where they have not been able to. Last year we were hoping someone would come by the booth. This year we actually have people booking scheduled appointments with us. Literally for the last three days we've been booked up all day. Uh, more importantly we're part of the few panel discussions that are we're asked to present at BIO in front of the 4,000 companies. There aren't many panel discussions and it's all about the project we pulled off with Healthy Nevada and 23andMe. The promise of big data as well as genetic data is, is that we can predict who's going to be sick 20, 30, 40 years before they do it, as well as figuring out the environmental determinants of health, whether or not they're smokers, whether or not they have a family history of heart disease, and the power that the data that we're gathering has it can predict that for us above and beyond what we think is currently available.